welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to show you show you how to turn your ordinary bed into an awesome day bed. Okay, so what you need is um, lots of pillows, six pillows minimum. They could be big, small, whatever. Um, depending on your bed, I think six to ten pillows would be good. Um, well, if you have a twin bed, you should do six to ten. If you have, um, like a queen bed or whatever, you should do, um, maybe t ten to fourteen or something like that. Okay, so, also, you need two blankets, one big, one small, and a couple stuffed animals or whatever you want to throw in there. So, uh, starting with the beginning... Take your um, big blanket and spread it over your bed. So, yeah. Okay, once you've done so, um, it should look something like that. And you should smooth it out to just get away the wrinkles. And also, tuck the bottom in. I haven't done yet, but just kind of tuck it into the bottom of your bed. And make sure it's nice and tight in there. And once you've done sh so, it should look like this. Uh, and if it doesn't look like that, um, try to tuck it in like this. So, next step is pillow time. So start by taking uh, the pillows. Where, start by t put it, put, taking uh, the smallest pillows and putting them... Uh, at the, like, at the, you know, the edge of the bed, like, not closest to, like, not, like, the sides, but the ends. Um, and, yeah, put the smallest ones, like, at the ends of your bed. And when you're done with the, just the ends, it should look like this. Okay. And um, don't put three pillows at the ends if you have a twin bed. Um, like, make sure there's a little room left over uh, for, uh, yeah. Just make sure there's a little bit of room left over. Next step, the big pillows. All right, so if you didn't use all your small pillows for the sides, put some, mix, you have to make some small pillows uh, for, like, the main edge of the bed. Um... So, uh, yeah, so you should have a couple small pillows left over. Well, anyway, we have to place the pillows on our bed. So, um, show you when it's done. So, I finished putting them down, and it looks like this. Uh, this is it, basically. Here, wait. Well, so, um... It, don't be afraid to overlap. Just make it as cozy as possible. Okay, so now it's time for the the small blanket. So I bet you're wondering, like, what are we doing with that? Well, I'll show you. So what you do with it is you spread it um, amongst your bed. Make sure it doesn't cover up the whole thing. Make sure it's small enough that there's still lots of room left where there's just the, like, the original blanket so that is not all the bed now I'll show you how to arrange your toys or whatever in a good way well don't just throw them in like actually care how you put them in so a, a good way is to like kind of put them a little dispositioned like kind of like sometimes slanted looks nice um it also looks nice to have them like uh, and you want, you definitely always want them spaced out. You don't just want a huge cluster. Like, that will not look good. Um, like, just like, don't just put them wherever, wherever. I mean, actually put them with these techniques. Like, you, you want them spaced out for sure. Uh, you should try to put them slanted, some right up. And just try to get them to look nice, you know? Here, maybe you want to put one... Um, maybe you want to put one, like, 
I don't know, like slanted, if you have one slanted, maybe put another oppositely slanted a little closer together from another one, and that's basically a good position. So let's go on to tests. Test number one. Make sure that the, your day bed is very cozy and very comfortable. And make sure that you you would wanna like sleep on it. Make sure you'd wanna play with your phone on it. Make sure you'd wanna hang out on it. Just make sure that it's something that you would actually like and use. Test number two. Lay back. Make sure uh, that there's enough room from head to toe. Like, make sure that you actually fit in it and the pillows aren't blocking all your space. And if so, you should change up your pillows uh, to make sure that they're not really hitting against your head or anything. That's happening with me, so I'm gonna change it a little. That's better. You can see the difference. There's a different pillow over here. Now it's not hitting against my pet. My pet, sorry, not pet, bed. Because the other one, the Hershey Kiss one, it's very big and bulgy, and it's way better like this. Test number three, also known as the final test. Be sure you actually like your bed, and you actually, like, and it's not just going to be a thing that's just going to, like, you're not going to do anything with it, you're not going to use it in the right way. Make sure it's, like, an actual good thing that you think is really cool, because then... When it's time to go to bed, maybe you would want to sleep on your day bed. You want to take apart your day bed. And if you take it apart uh, for the night, maybe you'd want to reassemble it for the morning. So don't, ju don't just make it so like you don't care about it. Like Actually make it so you like it. And as I said before, that was the last test. So I hope you like this video. I hope you try making the day bed. Have a fun day. Have an awesome day. And bye.